There has been a lot of news about Chinese equipment in Pakistan, recently first of all. The third batch of J-10C fighter aircraft has been officially delivered to Pakistan and delivered to the Pakistan Air Force for use. According to the current public information, it is confirmed that the Pakistan Air Force has equipped at least 13 J-10C fighter aircraft and the latest J-10C fighter aircraft delivered to the Pakistan. Air Force has been painted with green camouflage similar to the Phantom Fleet of the Pakistan Air Force. This is a very interesting signal, because the green camouflage coating is not the air optimization coating of the Pakistan Air Force fighter jet. This can be seen from the coating of the Pakistan Air Force Zhao Long fighter fleet. This also means that the Pakistan Air Force intends to use part of the J-10C fighter jet as a professional ground attack aircraft to replace the aging Phantom fighter jet of the Pakistan Air Force. Considering that the Phantom Strike team itself is responsible for it has certain tactical and combat tasks. So this part of the J-10C fighter will probably take on some of the tactical and combat tasks of the Pakistan Air Force. In addition to the newly painted J-10C fighter, the Pakistan Air Force has recently publicly displayed its first JLONGC, which is the JLONG Block K3 fighter. This is the most advanced fighter that Pakistan can produce at present. Equipped with the KLJ-7 of the fifth generation fighter, a manned phased array radar and avionics system, plus PL-151 medium-range air-to-air missile, and PL-101 close-range combat air-to-air missile, are fully capable of fighting Indian Air Force refail fighter of course. China's good thing to Pakistan is not only these Pakistan also displays a pilot's intelligent helmet also known as the fly helmet after careful comparison. It can be found that this fly helmet and the fly worn by the Chinese Air Force J-20 stealth fighter the fly helmet should be the same kind that China is willing to sell to Pakistan. It can be seen that China attaches great importance to the friendship between China and Pakistan from the information released by the Pakistan Air Force. The Zhao Long Sea Fighter has eight external attachment points. One heavy attachment point at the midline of the belly, which is used to mount an electronic countermeasure pod under the right air inlet of the auxiliary fuel tank. Two heavy attachment points under the wings. Two REK, a satellite guided glider bombs. Two under the wings except that for SB-10 a Thunderbolt 12 e medium range air 2 air missiles are attached to the pylon. And two Thunderbolt 5 e short range combat air to air missiles are attached to two wing tip mounting points. They not only have strong air to air combat capability, but also have strong medium range air combat capability and short range combat air combat capability. It is enough for the refail fighter of the Indian Air Force to drink a pot. Some people also raised a new question. That is, whether the development of the current Zhao Long series of fighters has touched after considering the upper limit of the airframe. It is estimated that the next demand of the Pakistan Air Force for the J-10C fighter jet is not small. Can China sell the production line of the J-10C fighter jet to Pakistan, according to the model of the Zhao Long fighter jet project in that year? So on the one hand, the Pakistan Air Force can equip more J-10C fighter jets at a more favorable price, which is conducive to improving the overall combat strength of the Pakistan Air Force in a short time and increasing the capacity of the Indian Air Force on the other hand. The military's air pressure at present. Many orders for the Zhao Long fighter are taken by Pakistan if the production line of the 
F-J-10C fighter is sold to Pakistan. Will it help to further improve the market sales of the J-10C fighter? Of course. There are different voices about this matter. This view holds that the development bottleneck of the Zhao Long fighter has not yet arrived. Although the Zhao Long is a light fighter, at present the technical reserves in the field of the fifth generation stealth fighter can completely help the Pakistan Air Force develop a kind of stealth fighter with stealth capability. That is, the Zhao Long D fighter. So that the Zhao Long D fighter can not only meet the needs of the Pakistan Air Force for high performance fighters, but also continue to export to earn foreign exchange to join the competition in the international stealth fighter market. Personally, I think it is not yet possible to put the J-10C fighter production line when providing it to Pakistan, because the J-10C fighter and the JWL fighter are of completely different significance to China. The J-10C fighter is not only one of the main fighters in China at present, but also will continue to serve for a long time in the future. It is acceptable to sell the J-10C fighter to the outside world, but if it is sold directly, it is a little unnecessary. As for the JWL fighter. China has no equipment production line to sell. Of course, the impact is very small. Secondly, for Pakistan, the production line of Zhao Long B is also more suitable than the production line of J-10C fighter because the production line of Zhao Long D can use a large number of modules of the previous production line of Zhao Long fighter from the perspective of. Economic benefits and technical research. It is more suitable than directly taking a new production line of J-10C fighter. Does Pakistan need a more high-end Chinese fighter? Personally, I think it is necessary. Yes, but it will never be at this time because the Indian Air Force has not yet obtained the fifth-generation stealth fighter. Let alone the Zhao Long D. Even the current combination of J-10C and Zhao Long C is enough to deal with the Rafale fighter and Su-30 Mk I fighter of the Indian Air Force. In fact, the Indian Air Force is really equipped with domestic tank stealth fighter or the Zhao Long D fighter with partial stealth capability, such as the F-35C stealth fighter imported. From the United States, of course. If the Pakistani Air Force feels that the JFKD is still at a loss in the face of single stealth fighter and F-35 stealth fighter, China can also sell the fifth-generation stealth fighter of foreign trade version to Pakistan. Although we still use the number of F-431 in order to maintain the consistency of foreign trade publicity. The current FC-31 has used a large number of relevant technologies of the J-35 stealth carrier aircraft, plus the vector thrust of the next possible equipment. If China has developed the J-10B fighter with stealth capability on the basis of the J-10C fighter, the Pakistani Air Force does not need to completely eliminate its own J-10C fighter. But only need to send part of the J-10C fighter back to China for China to upgrade it to the J-10D technical standard. The production line of the J-10C fighter jet was sold to Pakistan, and the J-10C fighter jet was just sold to Pakistan, India, and was about to be exported to brilliant buyers. The J-10C series fighter jet showed its strong combat capability. In participating in the air military exercises of other countries, which was comparable with the famous advanced model of the U.S. F-16 F-18 fighter jet in the air war, it was a typical third-generation semi-air superior fighter jet. The J-10C fighter jet, which was officially installed in the Chinese Air Force and began to bear the burden in April. 
2018 being responsible for the task of China's airspace, combat duty and showing great prominence in all previous exercises has laid a solid foundation for the improvement of the mental combatability of the Chinese Air Force at the same time. The foreign trade version of the J-10C has also been highly expected by many netizens to use the fighter to open the door of China's large-scale export of advanced fighter aircraft to the world fighter market once successfully exported. It will become a new breakthrough in the export of China's aviation high-tech equipment it has been widely rumored that Pakistan will purchase the Chinese J-10C fighter at a preferential price. But it has not received the actual hammer. This cannot help but make net Izens who have great confidence in their J-10C series fighter anxious. Until the news that the J-10C was exported to Pakistan on March 11th. Arling Arling. The actual Hammer Pakistan Air Force held the vaccination ceremony of the first six J-10C fighter planes in Kam La, and Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan personally attended the instrument while Chinese netizens were full of curiosity about the number of J-10C series purchased by Pakistan from China. Pakistan's Interior Minister Sheikh Rashid Ahmed publicly said in an interview with Pakistani media a few days ago that Pakistan's J-10C fighter was ready to be put in place, and 25 J-10C aircraft would form an Air Force squadron to participate in Pakistan's military parade next year. That is to say, Pakistan's one-time purchase of China's J-10C combat, the number of aircrafts will not be less than 25. Considering that the main purpose of Pakistan's purchase of China's advanced third generation and half-fighter aircraft is to offset the advantage of India's purchase of 36 Rafail fighters from Dassault, France. Pakistan is likely to purchase the second batch of J-0C fighters from China in the future. You should know that, although the Rafale fighter has better performance than the F-16CD fighter and the elbow fighter equipped by Pakistan, it is not the same as the third generation and half-war fighter the best fighter fighter. The J-10C is not as good as the active phased array radar equipped with the J-10C. For example, its T to component and radar aperture are far superior to the gust, which makes the J-10C more powerful than the gust fighter in detection ability and far beyond the horizon combat ability. In addition, the stealth performance of the J-10C is superior to the Gust Fighter, makes the J-10C have the ability to detect the enemy's attack first and the ability to suppress the Gust when fighting with the Gust Fighter. It is obvious that according to the news published by the world-famous weapons magazine, Pakistan's first batch of Chinese J-10C contracts purchased at half price. The price of the J-100 for maybe around $40 million. And the price of 25 aircraft may be just over $1 billion. Which is an amazing $250 million compared with the price of 36 Rafale aircraft. Purchased by India the price of buying the J-10C at the brother's price. Is almost the price of cabbage. It can be said that the purchase of the J-10C fighter at the brother's price has made a lot of money in Pakistan driven by Stan. Many countries have expressed their purchase intentions to China, such as Iran, North Korea, Bangladesh, Thailand, etc. This makes the prospect of the J-10C bright just now. China's J-10C fighter has just been sold to Pakistan and India. A neighbor next to us who likes to compete has also spread the news that it is going to export its home-made fighter 
and it looks like it is promising. What's the matter? Recently, many Indian media, India's brilliant fighter, will soon welcome the first overseas buyer. The mysterious buyer is Malaysia, located in the countries surrounding the South China Sea. Why the Indian media believes that the Malaysian Air Force will purchase India's brilliant fighter is mainly because the Malaysian Air Force recently plans to purchase 18 new fighter planes at a time. These fighter planes will be used to supplement the existing Su-30 and Fa-18 fighter planes of the Malaysian Air Force, according to the report of the magazine. In the next round of bidding. It has been determined that the fighter models of six airlines will participate in the final winner. Will win the order of the first 18 fighter planes in Malaysia, and the order may be added later at the Singapore Air Show 2020 to held a few days ago. The Zhao Long fighter plane, which was originally developed by China and Pakistan in cooperation with the Corn Ferry fighter plane. Voluntarily withdrew from the bidding and did not participate in the flight maintenance link of the air show, resulting in the failure of the Zhao Long fighter plane, Singapore's second choice aircraft, and India, which is interested in participating in Singapore's next round of bidding, sent three glorious fighter planes to make a big splash at the air show, which really gained a lot of attention. It became a star at the air show and even was called Singapore Sky Diamond by Indian media. Indian media believed that the All Dragon of China-Pakistan cooperation was a competitor who knew it was not India's glorious fighter plane and withdrew from the competition voluntarily, while the rest of the competitors provided it to Malaysia. The aircraft type in West Asia is far. Less advanced than that of Corn Ferry, so Indian media believe that Corn Ferry fighter has almost won the supply contract for 18 fighter planes in Malaysia. It is reported that the aircraft types participating in Malaysia S bidding this time also include those of China, Russia, Italy, South Korea, TRK, IYE. Among which the aircraft type provided by South Korea is the Elite Fighter, and the aircraft type provided by TRK IYE is the H. While the aircraft type provided by China is the L-15 Falcon, so why does India respond to? How about the performance of the Corn Ferry Fighter? The Corn Ferry Fighter is a single-seater, single-engine, light, all-weather, supersonic combat aircraft. Developed by Hindustan Airlines to meet the needs of the Indian Air Force, it is used to replace the old MiG-21 fighter of the Indian Air Force. It is the first domestic high-performance fighter developed by India, which has been using all countries. Why should India aspire to develop the Corn Ferry fighter? The main reason for the replacement of the MiG-21 in Russia by the bucket fighter is that India has produced and maintained more than 500 MiG-21 fighter planes in the past 40 years, and only more than 1,000 MiG-21 fighter planes have been equipped in total, which are jokingly called flying coffins by netizens. The project was initiated in 1983. And the test flight was conducted in January 2001, and only in 2016 did it begin to equip the Indian Air Force in batches. And its production capacity is also very good. It was almost 30 years to create a sort. It takes the longest time to develop fighter aircraft in the world. Thank you for your appreciation, and leave your comments and attention. See you next time.